So basically, all of a sudden, they like moved a pawn, and then they had the queen there, and then the king, and then checkmate, and then I won, Brie, and then... Brie? I told her to come over here. And she, she just, like, was talking to someone. I don't even know who it was. And then she walked away, and I thought she followed me after that. I swear I just saw her. She has, like, a bun in her hair. We were, like, bun matching today. All right, whatever. Point being, chess got really exciting really quickly. It got intense super, like, fast. <laughs> you got to watch it. Check it out, guys. Who is one team that you guys are looking forward to going against? Springfield. <laughs> Just because they're going to be really easy to beat. <laughs> oh, man. Ain't nothing better than an easy W. You're right. Have you guys played in any tournaments last year, or is this you guys' first year? No, last year was our first year. Oh, that's cool. That's cool to hear. What's the best part about being in the chess club? Um, the people are a lot of fun. We all get to play chess and have fun, and it's Friendship building, as it is for all clubs, mm -hmm. there is that social thing. But then for the tournament matches, it's about we get to travel and see other schools. And there's always snacks. It's always a good thing. Yeah, that is. <laughs> and it's just fun. All right. And if it's not too late for other kids in the school, can they still join the chess club? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, where can they get information about this? Um, they can go see Mr. Young in his room. Which is room 209, I think. All right. 207, 209. So how is the game of chess played? All right. Well, um, each side moves their pieces a, a prescribed, like... Each oh, let me. Yeah. So there are two different colors in chess. There's black and there's white. Right. White side always moves first, followed by black. There are 16 pieces on the board for each side, which makes it 32 total. There are two bishops aside, two knights aside, two rooks aside, a king and a queen, and eight pawns. Hmm. Pawns can only move one space forward or two spaces forward if they're moving their first time. And they can only attack diagonally. All right. Knights move in an L shape. Three moves, three spaces. So say the knight is here, it can go one, two, here, or here. The knight is also special because it's the only piece that can jump over another piece. Okay. Bishops can move in straight diagonal lines. So if it's a bishop on a dark square, it can only move along dark squares and that's how it attacks. Same with um, the light bishop. Rooks can only move in horizontal lines, straight horizontal lines, which means that they have a greater mobility than mm -hmm. the bishops do, yes? Yeah. And the queen is like a cross between a rook and a bishop. It can move in diagonal lines and straight lines. Wow. Which means that the queen is the most powerful piece on the board. But the king is the most important piece because if you lose your king, then you've lost the game. If, you, if your opponent manages to get your king in a position of checkmate where the king is in danger of getting taken by an opponent's piece and he can't move into safety mm -hmm. and, there isn't, oh, and there isn't any other piece that can save him, that's checkmate, you lose. Wow, very informational. Thank you. So how are the tournaments run? Like, how does it work? Like, are there teams there you get racked up? Um, yes, in a way. Although I think that the actual order for determining the matches and who you play is actually random. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's probably handled by the um, division. But, yeah, but there's f five people per team. and Five boards. And so um, the uh, division, people to people in charge of the, the league, I mean, um, they determine which team plays who. 
each week and then the per and then each of the five players will play each other. Okay. Even though I know you two are related, who else is on the Chelsea team? There's Alex Perez, currently our first board, and he's a freshman, which honestly that kind of oh. irritates me. You don't like freshmen on the team? No, no, I like, no, it's not that I don't like freshmen on the team. I just don't I like a freshman on the team being better than me. Oh, I understand. Wow. Then there's Lydia Haggard, our second board. Andrew is our third, I'm the fourth, and then our fifth is Alex Jimenez. He's a junior. Awesome, awesome. How do you guys prepare for these uh, tournaments? Um, usually our Friday meet, our Friday meetings. Okay. We play each other, we get tips on how to improve our game. There's also this awesome website called chess.com. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are members, and so we go on there to play other people from all around the world. We go there to do, um, some tactics trainings, which helps us improve our strategy. And we can also play each other over online, so it doesn't have to be confined to just Fridays and Tuesdays. Uh, that's neat. Why do you guys use notes when you guys are in chess matches? It's called taking notation, and it's actually required by the division for us yeah. to take notation. Awesome, awesome. Because it's an official recording of the game sorry then um th they can go back and make sure that like no one cheated or anything that way they can but also we also use it in an informal way to kind of go back and analyze the game and see where we messed up mm -hmm. so then we can learn and prepare so, for next so time technically you just you learn it from your mistakes and stuff like that yeah yeah more or less all right thank you thank you anything else you guys would like to add um, I don't think so. All right. Thank you for your time, Andrew and Elaine. I'm Craig Lacey, and I just talked to him about the chess club. If you're interested in joining, then go talk to Mr. Young in room 209. Back to you, Eagle's Eye.